Right, I've climbed all the way up from Cheddar, meandering myself around the shoot shelf hill over there with the aerial on the top. I've got some Brent Knoll in the distance there, look. Come back down through and we come to Axbridge and Cheddar Reservoir. The beautiful Somerset countryside, everybody. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. And I'm in this field. Some big clouds up there, but they shouldn't threaten me. And it's just beautiful everywhere. I'm just surrounded by beauty. Already my breathing's improved as soon as I've got out of the valley. The valley that extends to Western. I'm exploring. I've never been in this particular field before. Um, I, I don't really know where I'm... I do know where I'm going, but I don't. I'm not on the right track yet. I'm exploring. I'm not following designated pathways exactly. They are designated but I'm not, not, not the mainstream ones. I'm um, going off at tangents here and there. But there was an arrow pointing this way after I got over a stile a minute ago. I'm heading for a bit of a place I went the other day, a week ago. On my way back from Rowbarrow, on the Winscombe to Cheddar Walk, I came up over that way more. Um, but today, I've come from another angle from Cheddar, a different route up to the top here. I've got no idea if there's cows, bulls or anything in here. I'm just looking for the a stile. So I reckon I'll be heading over that way. Oh, there's Road Barrow. Look. I'm on the edge now. I know where I am. That's Road Barrow Wood. I went in last week and the week before. There's a big quarry right over there. So I've now got my bearings, everyone. Road Barrow. over there. Oh, there's the smoke from the dog crematorium, pets crematorium I call it. I'm seeing a wall that I'm going to have to follow in a minute. This looks like some sort of tumulus that I'm approaching now. Could be an old burial mound. They usually are on top of a hill, look. This is all ancient country around here where the ancestors were. Man-made lake down there, the reservoir. So flat. You realise if a tsunami came in, everyone down there would be flat. Yeah, right over there in the very distance, some wireless signals. Up on the Mendips there. I'm hoping to get there in a roundabout way later. But everything depends on the time. But I wanted to do... Obviously I could have got up here quicker, but I wanted to do what I've done today. Because I had to find out... If it was any good. And basically... It's only any good for going down, I think, if you were want to get back quickly. Right, so this is a tumulus. Looks like someone's tried to build the wall. It's what you call a tumulus. Up here. And any minute now, I think I'll probably come to a, a way I've got to get in by a wall over there. That's my plan. If there was a way in, there's going to be a way out. Oh, look at these cow slips, everyone. They remind me of childhood so much. Oh, look. These are cowslips as opposed to primroses. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm up here. Up 
up on the Mendips. Not a cow in sight. Surrounded by beauty. That's the Mendips over there where you can get the uh, pick up the walk. West Mendip Way. Shoot Shelf Hill. I've walked in there in the past. Right over there you've got Quantox and Ec leading to Exmoor over there. And at some point I've seen Glastonbury Tour once since I've been up here. And I know I've got to get down there somehow in a minute. So I'm expecting there to be a stile. Look at that field there. Full of dandelions. Look. Sea of yellow. How beautiful our countryside is. Right, over and out for now.